Hey, this is Steve from Hashtock Guide, and today I'm going to show you how you can manage your ICO Wizard crowd sale or ICO using my Ether Wallet, which you don't have to, you know, hex and code your information. You can just enter your information and click access, and um, you'll be able to do it. Now, a few things: uh, make sure you use the correct address, uh, the owner of the crowd sale. Um, I use MetaMask to get my account if you made a, an ICO with ICO wizard then you should have MetaMask because that's the only way you can make it but um first before we get started please subscribe to my YouTube channel check out my blog hashtag guide and let's get started um, over at uh, github uh, the Oracle's ICO wizard github in the wiki, uh, you go scroll down on the sidebar, managing the crowd sale. First one is changing the start and end times. So, to change the start and end time, first of all, you need to make sure your crowd sale is modifiable. If you didn't click modify, allow modifying, then create a new crowd sale because you cannot change anything. Uh, if you did have it modifiable and you're using the owner's address, Go to myetherwallet.com, and what you do is go to the crowd sale text file, which is minted token cap crowd sale extent, and then you take this contract address, and up top on my Ether wallet, click on contracts and contract address, and then you need to take the ABI, which is everything in between these square brackets crowd sale ABI then you enter that and like I said make sure that you got MetaMask signed in with the owner and click access now read and write to contract you can select the function right here and since the ICO has already started this is the one I'm going to be modifying uh, it's already started so I cannot change the start time now you are not allowed to change the start time once it's already started. I've, I've tried and it, the transaction was found. But um, you can see right here that this ICO ends in 10 days, 2 hours. And I'm going to... I'm just going to make this end at the 31st instead. So what we do is... Go to set ends at... Now, there's also tons of other functions you can do. You can check how much we was raised, uh, refund, you know, uh, invest the amount of total. You can check what time it ends at now and everything like that. But for now, we're just going to keep this. And the parameter it takes is Unix time. So search Google for Unix time or go to unixtimestamp.com. And over here, you just enter the date you want it to end. So we get the 31st at 12 a.m. So this is our Unix time for 12.31 with 12 o'clock a.m. Then you just go over here, you enter your Unix time right here, and how you would like to access your wallet. I'm using MetaMask, but you could use your private key or a Trezor or Ledger wallet. Like I said, if you have MetaMask, it's just easier to use MetaMask. You have your you know, account you know, selected, and that's all you need to do. So click on MetaMask, and click Connect. And then write. The amount to send is zero, and keep the gas limit just like it is. If the gas limit is at zero, that means there's, there's an error somewhere in the function. Uh, maybe you have the wrong Unix time or something, or, or uh, you try setting a start time when it's already started, you'll see the gas limit's at zero. Click generate transaction, and then yes, I'm sure. If you uh, take a look right here, I just learned this the other day too. This data right here 
is what's actually sent if you use MetaMask. Like say I want to send money to a crowd sale, you need to enter data right here in order for the transaction to complete. Um, that's this is where this information comes on. This is hex encoded of the Unix time we have, and then this is the method ID used for that function. All right, but uh, using my Ether wallet is just a little more simple to figure out. Just click yes, I am sure. And it should you click uh, submit for the MetaMask transaction. And then you should be all set. And you give it a, f you know, a few minutes for it to actually catch on to the function. But um, yeah, that, that's how you change the start time. Let's check out other functions. You can change the, the max cap for each tier. So say you have you know, a million coins on each tier, you can change that. Yeah, you know, if you want to have 500,000 instead, uh, change the rate, uh, rate per Ether. So if you have 1,000 tokens for one Ether, you want to change it to 800. That's how you change it right there. And finalize. Pretty sure uh, you can do it with uh, my Ether wall also. But uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to make other videos on how to do the rest. Thank you for a while. Uh, let's see if it's updated. Yep, it's not 10 days anymore, it's 16. So that, that's how you change the time. And I uh, hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my blog, Hash Guide, and follow me on Twitter, at Hash Guide. Thank you, have a good day.